Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'll show you how to make tempura vegetables. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is prepare all your vegetables. So in my case, I'm using sweet potato, mushrooms, zucchini, baby eggplant, capsicum, carrot, and also some snow peas. So now this part's pretty straightforward. With the mushrooms, we don't need to do anything. So just put those straight into a bowl or some sort of container. Um, now with everything else, we'll start with our zucchini. You just want to peel the skin. And with our zucchini, you can go straight down the middle, but I prefer to go on an angle like so. This way we have a nicer shape. So continue to do that however you like. You can either go straight down the middle to create long pieces. And with the carrot, same principle, we'll peel the skin. And same with our carrot, I'm just going to go diagonally. Eggplant, same principle, peel the skin, and the eggplant will do diagonally as well. And sweet potatoes next. Now, if you prefer, you can just use a normal potato, but that's not as exciting as a sweet potato. Now with the sweet potato, I'm just going to go down and just create round chips. Just like so. So they're almost paper thin. And you want to try and get them thinner than everything else as potatoes take longer to cook. Um, capsicum, just take the top off. And you want to go down the middle, take out any seeds. And with the capsicum, we'll just go down the side like that. Which brings us down to the last one, which is snow peas. Pretty simple, just cut the ends off them. So that's all our vegetables in there. Now I put this straight into the fridge. It's best to have it nice and cool as it'll work better. Now at this point you want to turn your deep fryer on to get that ready as when we make our tempura batter we need to use it immediately. So once you've done that just into a bowl add about three quarters of a cup of plain flour and to this we'll add two tablespoons of corn flour. Just add a pinch of salt and some cracked pepper for seasoning. And just give that a quick mix. Now just crack in one whole egg. And using a whisk, we just want to start stirring this. And add in half a cup of cold soda water. You need to make sure it's cold and that it's sparkling. So basically you want this light, almost pancake-like batter. And 
and now it's ready to be used. So at this point, don't let it just sit around, you need to work quickly. So we'll go to my deep fryer now, put the basket in, and this will make it easy to work with. Now I've got our vegetables here and my batter here. So for example, we'll start off with one of these zucchinis. Place it straight into your batter, it's alright if it falls off. You just want to move that around in there, bring it out, let any of that excess come straight off. Once it slows down, it's enough, so there we go. Straight in. And as you can see, it's bubbling already, and after a few seconds, it will float up. So now we'll continue. We'll go for a mushroom next. Straight in. Let the excess come off and straight in. We'll do a swirl pea next. It's a bit easier as it stays on the skewer, but then coming off will be harder. But anyway, but as you can see, the vegetables are floating up. So you can flip them over as well. You want to let them cook for about two and a half minutes. Uh, you could use your hands if you prefer, it will be faster, but as you can see it gets very messy too. But it's completely up to you. I don't mind too much as I work with food all day long. But it definitely speeds up the process. And I can't imagine them in a Chinese restaurant using a skewer to do each one. So it'll be fast and by hand. As you can see, the one on the left is the first batch I did, and as you can see, they're going nice and golden brown. So it's been about two minutes now. So in a couple of seconds we'll go ahead and take them out. And this one here is the second battery shot just put. So we'll take the first batch out now. And just let it rest there to get all the oil out. We want to try and get it as healthy as we can. And the second batch will just flip them over. So that's our first batch done, and we'll continue with the rest before we serve it. That's all our vegetables done now, so we'll season with a sprinkle of salt and a touch of cracked pepper. Let's give that a good mix in the bowl. As you can see, you can hear that nice crunch. And bring it across the plate. Serve that there. And of course, we'll serve it with some soy sauce. But it's simple as that. It's actually a very easy dish to make. For example, here's one of the carrots. As you can see, it's perfectly cooked. And that's how we do it. I hope you like that, guys. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them at the bottom. And I'll see you all next time.